first time doing a house tour. I've been meaning to do one for years and finally, finally this is it. So I'm gonna show you my apartment. I live here in Los Angeles. I love this apartment. It's just, it's like antique and vintage and it's big and cozy and I just, I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys, give you the full tour and you might've seen it on my Instagram a little bit, but you know, I'm gonna give you some more right now. So let's go in. Welcome to the apartment. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom, townhouse style apartment duplex. This is our living room down here. I think this is the room we honestly spend the most time in. Baby J loves to play down here. I mean, it's kind of her playroom. She has her own bedroom, but most of her toys are down here. Most of her time spent playing and painting and reading and drawing is in this room. Um, and so yeah, at nighttime, you know, I'm down here on the sofa watching Netflix and eating and just, I love this room so much. My favorite thing about this room is definitely the sofa. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this sofa. I'm obsessed with it. I did a little trade with room and board and they furnished the living room, including giving me this sofa. It's so comfortable and just like so plush and I love taking naps on it. I don't even like napping in my bed. If I take a nap, I wanna nap on this sofa. So it's just, it's just divine, so comfy. In this room, I love that it's got this centerpiece fireplace mantle, though it's not a working fireplace, unfortunately, but it is super, it's just pretty and it really brings the whole room together. We've got the artwork on top of it. We keep Baby J's toys underneath it. We have Max's piano in the corner over there because sometimes he and Baby J sit there and play music together and sing and it's really cute. You know, as you can see, I have a lot of plants in here too. Um, being that it is California, Los Angeles, it just, I mean, I guess honestly, anywhere I live, I'd like a lot of plants because I'm a millennial and they are great. Over here, we also have the bookshelf. This bookshelf is basically for baby J. She loves reading more than anybody, more than me. Like she, that's all she wants to do is read. So we have our little books down here. We also have some um, other books, mostly Max's books, our plans. I just like it as a little focal point in the room um, because she goes up to it, grabs a little book off of it. It's really pretty and yeah, I like it. And then of course, oh, Baby J has this table. So she got this table, this learning music table for her birthday. She is obsessed with it. She sits there, she paints, she plays on the table. It's so, so cute. This whole room really, it's just made up of a bunch of stuff. It's, it's, it's just our family room, so it's Baby J's space. It's all purpose room, unpretentious, and nice and cozy. This is our dining room. I spend a lot of time in the dining room because this is my desk where I do most of my work. Baby J, she has her meals in here. We all eat our meals in here. Even though our kitchen has like, you know, a big island, we still eat all of our meals here at the dining table. This built-in is so cool and it would be so pretty and beautiful if I actually filled it with glasses, plates, things like that, but it's just full of books. Lots of books. So this is our real bookshelf. The one in the front is like our nice bookshelf that looks all pretty and organized, but this one is just the real one. And my favorite thing though about this whole room is the corner. In the corner we have a little music station where we have a record player, and that's where we play our music. It's a little nice part of the room, put some music on, have dinner or dance around, and just, you know, enjoy, enjoy our company. Baby J is always in here like, you know, asking for Raffi, so you know how that goes. This table, this dining room table, is actually the first thing that we got when we moved in here. I bought it on Pottery Barn's website and it arrived and I was so excited, but we didn't have any chairs for it. We didn't have anything else, but it's here now and I love it. And for the chairs, I ended up going with these wishbone chairs. I thought they were super cute, but I had no idea how absolutely comfortable they are to sit in. They've got like this basket weave in the seat and they're just super comfortable and soft and they're great. I know some 
some of you may have seen my kitchen tour video. I didn't do the house tour, but I did do the kitchen tour. Um, but this is the kitchen. I love this kitchen because it is so big. It's so much bigger than I ever imagined I could get here in Los Angeles especially without paying a fortune. Our rent is actually really affordable because uh, we don't live in like a fancy neighborhood, but the kitchen is fancy, which is awesome. But you guys can imagine I spend most of my time here in the kitchen because I'm cooking all the time and recipe creating. And I even sit at the counter and use this as my desk a lot of times or my little standing desk. The best thing about this kitchen is definitely the pantry situation because you open the doors and each shelf comes out it can be pulled out so it's super easy to find anything you're looking for in there and it's just to be organized and it's just very convenient in general i have to have that in my dream kitchen or whenever i have a home own a home i have to have a, a pantry like that and i also love that so many of the cabinets in general the they have like these pull out shelves inside of them like convenience is like my favorite thing in the world. So love this kitchen, especially for the fact that it is so big and it is so absolutely user-friendly and convenient. If you wanna see more of this kitchen, make sure you watch the kitchen tour video that I created. I will show you everything in detail in that video. It's super fun. Welcome to my bedroom, come in. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> this is my favorite room, for real. And I don't spend that much time in here, but I love it. It's so cozy and happy and bright. I love it. My favorite thing about this room is, of course, my bed. I love to sleep. I don't get enough of it, but I love to sleep. This is a vegan avocado mattress so comfortable all my pillows i sleep with three pillows at a time and like oh it's cozy in here and then as far as the headboard goes it's mustard yellow need i say more mustard yellow velvet by the way and it's from lulu in georgia almost all of the furniture here in the room is from lulu in georgia i partnered with them on a trade and they hooked me up with this good furniture i've got my favorite painting on the wall here this is I don't know if it's my favorite painting ever. It's one of my favorite paintings. It's my favorite painting at the Met Museum in New York, which I miss so much. But this is Bashi Bazook by Jerome. I also have this wonderful painting from an artist from New Orleans. And then I have this wonderful little one of a kind painting that Max's friend painted for Max to give to me and I framed it because it's so lovely and it gives me just really nice memories. The other pieces on the wall are, one of them is like a belt sort of fanny pack situation that I got when I was traveling in Thailand in 2011. I went there for a couple months by myself and that's one of the souvenirs that I got. And then the last thing I have on this wall is just this a coral necklace that I got at the flea market here. That's the only thing on the wall that doesn't have like a story behind it, aside from the fact that Baby J and I went to the flea market and I saw it and I liked it and I bought it and it's on the wall now. That's the whole story. I also love every other piece of furniture in this room, like my orange chair. I love that, it's burnt bronze, orange color. It's just, I never even sit in it. It's the cat's chair but I love it. It looks so pretty there. And then also I have this great um, print from Kenesha Sneed, who's this amazing artist who I love. And I love this bench at the foot of the bed. This is a super cool, I think it's Danish paper, woven paper bench, something like that. I, this is one of those pieces I feel like I'm gonna keep forever. I just, I adore it. It can, you can have it anywhere in the house. I'm gonna, I have it at the foot of the bed right now, but I can imagine it would be beautiful in an entryway or at a dining table, really anywhere. And then lastly, I have this amazing dresser. In our last apartment, I did not have a dedicated dresser. So to have one now is like a big upgrade for me. This is the bedroom but it also doubles as Max's office. So he has his desk and chair in the corner over here and all of his instruments. So during the day, he's usually up here in the bedroom and he's working at his desk and I'm downstairs in the kitchen doing my thing. 
this is baby Jay's bedroom. It's so nice for her to have a room of her own. In our old place where she was born, it was just one bedroom. One bedroom, one bathroom, 600 square feet, far too small, especially as she started growing. It was like she needed more space. So when we moved in here, we were so happy to finally have a room for her. And she sleeps better here. She has her crib, which is so cute and I mean, just a regular white crib <laughs> but it's made out of like all sustainable wood and also the paint is low voc so you know it's a little bit safer because you know but otherwise it just looks like a regular crib the art on the wall is my favorite probably in the room these are just baskets that i ordered from a company that sells baskets from west africa called Kazi. I'll link it down below because I highly recommend it. I love everything that they have. And I wanted to do a basket wall over the crib because all the baskets are really lightweight. So in the, if an earthquake happens and anything falls, it's very light. So she won't get, she'll probably be afraid out of her mind, but she won't actually get hurt. One of her most favorite toys is her little play toy kitchen here. It's such a good toy. It was like, I got it at Ikea, $80, which, oh man, great use of $80. But they're great. I mean, she'll sit there and play and cut her little vegetables for a long time. I don't wanna say hours, nothing, nothing is in hours for her. But I gotta say, the thing that she loves the most in life, again, are her books. Well, her mom and then her books. She loves her books so much. So we try to keep them, you know, these books rotated. Um, we kind of swap the books from downstairs and up here so that she always has like fresh books to read. But I gotta say her favorite books are definitely Pokey Little Puppy. That's like one of her favorite books. And well, right now the Serena Williams book because I think she thinks Serena Williams is her Aunt Rena because she calls her Auntie Rena. So yeah, she loves the book about Auntie Rena. <laughs> and then yeah, of course she has her stuffed animals, which she loves to play with, and she treats them like any kid would treat their stuffed animals. It's very cute. This is our bathroom. It's the only bathroom that we have in here, and it's upstairs, so I get a lot of steps on my Fitbit. So far I have 9,600, and I promise you, a bunch of those, at least probably like 20% are just from coming up and down the steps, for real. So this is the bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's got this super nice vintage charm with the subway tiles and the penny tiles on the floor and the the sink and the mirror and the, the window in here with this like vintage crystal glass. I love it so much. But I gotta say my favorite thing about the bathroom is well, the window, yes, but also we have this super convenient and just, it's, it's a sun tunnel and it lets in light. So it's different from a skylight because you can't actually see through it. It's just a tunnel um, and it brings a natural light into the shower. So it's kind of like we have a skylight in the shower, not really, but kind of gives that vibe. In the bathroom, we also have a lot of plants. We did the pothos plants. We like strung it around the mirror here in the bathroom. And then I have another pothos in the shower, which I'm realizing right now it doesn't look so healthy. I also like this. The fact that we've got this super, super long shower curtain. Well, the shower curtain's not that long, but it's supposed to. But this is like a vintage thing where they hung, instead of having a curtain rod, it's basically a track for the curtain, the shower curtain to go. But you need a much longer curtain. And which we don't have. So our curtain is a little short and it's not that great, but it looks very good and it works. So can't complain with that. That was my full apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so nice having you over and showing you around. And if you wanna see more apartment tours, like when I move, hopefully soon, let me know or house tour or whatever, if you wanna see more stuff like that. And yeah, just let me know and I'm happy to share. Like I said, I will leave the links for my favorite pieces in this apartment down in the description box below. So if you're interested in anything, check down there. If I miss anything, let me know. Just ask me in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, thanks for coming.